Hi, I'm Shanice O'Mara, a mechanical engineer. I got into engineering because I love understanding how things work and learning about new technologies. Over the years, I've seen a vast development in engineering, which has led to some true design icons. And today, engineers continue to create objects and ideas, like the smartphone in your pocket, or maybe even the pen in your hand. Or this electric fan. Traditional fans are really hard to clean, and there's always a risk that objects, like fingers, can get caught in their blades. And those are the kinds of challenges that Dyson engineers had to address when they developed the Dyson Air Multiplier Fan. So, would you like to hear about today's engineering challenge? How can these teach you more about engineering? We'd like to challenge you to make a run to race a marble. Now the hardest part is that the marble has to complete the run in 60 seconds, no more, no less. To race marbles, you need some kind of slide or run, like a water chute or a water slide. All these slides and runs use gravity while trying to keep friction to a minimum. Friction is a force between two surfaces that causes a moving object to slow down, like a brake on a bicycle. The amount of friction changes depending on the materials from which the two surfaces are made. Think about a bobsleigh run. Ice causes very little friction, making a bobsleigh much faster than a normal playground or water slide. To make sure your marble run only takes a minute, you'll need to think about whether you need more or less friction to make your marble roll faster or slower. Hi, Kat. Hi. Gosh, isn't it amazing what you can do with cardboard? Yes, cardboard's a really great material to work with because you can cut it up into all different kinds of shapes, bend it, it's just really useful and also a really accessible resource. So do you actually use it in your day job? Yeah, so we often use cardboard in the early design process to show our designs because you can show them in 3D. And I guess you can go through a lot of trial and error and it's not really that expensive so you can make mistakes. Yeah, that's right. So should we test it out? Yes, so the marble starts at the top of the run with lots of potential energy due to its height. Yay, bullseye, wow! You can really see how it changed direction and pace as a result of these different shapes. There are lots of other features that you can add as well, and if you talk to Tom, I'm sure he can tell you a lot more. So he's on the next table? Yes. Oh, head that way. Well done, looks great. Hi Tom. Hi Shane. Wow, this is impressive. It's almost my height. What's taking you hours? It has taken a long time. It's taken a lot of experimenting, testing, retesting, all the different angles, just to adjust it so the marble can run all the way through perfectly. Right, I've got to see it in action. Let's let's, let's do, do this. <sighs> oh, made it uphill. Sandpaper. Yeah. Perfect. That is incredible. And such a nice, gentle ending. Exactly. <laughs> but if you want to see something truly amazing, you should see what Owen's got on his table. Okay, I will. Thank you. Well done. Wow, Owen. Hi, this Shirley. is so impressive. All these different structures and forms and shapes. That must really affect the way the marble actually runs through the course. Definitely. When you've got different components with different surface types, that really affects the friction on the ball and that allows us to control the speed. That sounds amazing. I want to see that in action. Definitely go for it. The ball's down the bottom there. Okay. Wow, that was incredible. And it proves that you don't actually need distance to make the time. You can just stall it. I saw it just swirling and swirling and swirling for ages. Exactly, using a bit of centrifugal force there to keep it going. Basically, gravity wants the marble to go down and we're just trying to make it as long as possible for it to do it. Fantastic job, love it. Now it's your turn to take the challenge. We've created some useful information to help you. Just go to our website and download the Marble Run Challenge Card. There are many things that you can use to make your run, but once you've proved that your run is the real competitor, take a photo of it or a short video and share it with us. Get downloading now. We can't wait to see what you come up with.